Let me give you a brief overview of the place value slider. Um, I created this piece of software to help my students understand what happens to numbers when they're multiplied or divided by tens or powers of 10. So the purpose of the place value slide is to demonstrate that when numbers are multiplied by say 10 or 100 or 1000, the value of the digits in that number change. And so they have to change their position in the place value system. Many of us were taught that the decimal point moves, but in reality the numbers move, not the decimal point. Let's have a look and see. I've generated a question up here like, this is it, 5.8 times 100. If we look at the number 5, and I can turn on their place values here, so the software enables you to have the labels or not have the labels up there. 5 is in the 1's position. If I multiply 5 by 100, it moves the 5 from there up to the 100's position. It's changed its value. Now in the software, you can then fill in the gaps to make up the number. So there's an add or remove zero option in there. And um, so there's the number 580. The question generator allows questions to be generated randomly, so they're always different. And, and this seems to work quite well. Let's have a look at this one here, for example, 46 divided by 10. If we take four and we divide it by 10, it becomes four tenths moves into that position there. So there's our new number. So it just illustrates how this how this works. Um, if you want the computer to generate, just simply generate numbers, you can then ask the students, what would happen to this number if you multiplied it by, say, 100? And they would say, well, the 1 would be multiplied by 100. It would become 100. And so the new number is 128. Or Let's try another one. What would happen if you divided this by 100? And so if you divided it by 10, it would move to there. And if you divided it by another 10, so that's multiplying it by 100 overall, it moves into that position. You can ask the questions, what about there? We need a place holder there. So we click in the zero. Now, you can have it so that the you can enter in questions yourself. So this has been developed for the interactive whiteboard, although you can key it in with a mouse. So if we put in 55.2 and enter it, we can do that with it and move it around to wherever we want, depending on whether we're multiplying or dividing. So there's the freedom of entering your own data and asking questions based on your questions, your information, rather than ones that are actually generated by a computer. So that's the overview of the place value slider and I found it a very effective tool for illustrating this particular concept.